Hello everybody, welcome to Nego Terra Odyssey. How is everybody? Oh, what a great combination. Shaman, faith, and home. This is really letting us know that there is value all around us on our computers and our books everything that we can reach to that will help lift us to see the signs to see what's happening in our timeline conversations and notes and clouds and epiphanies and animals and all of these things that there is all of these qualities all around us sprinkled everywhere and when we allow that kind of inner shaman that spiritual self that wants to learn that wants to pick up these little diamonds everywhere they're always available and we'll make the connections look how this beautiful bear is looking up to the moon and looking up to the stars and the constellations and recognizing there are signs everywhere we will find our paths we will find meaning in the things that we need to have meaning in and there's outlets and there's connections and we can implement change and set these mini goals and practice self-compassion and self-care and gratitude and celebrate the small wins and visualize obstacles and solutions with this faith card coupled with it it's like have faith in your ability speak to yourself speak to your highest vibrational self that is the person that always says you are worth all your dreams whatever you want to and desire to come to pass have that focus and follow through you have you have and will learn the skill sets that you need but the first thing that we really do need is faith right faith in our ability faith in setting out those kind of templates and practicing you know imperfect action things don't have to be perfect but we are taking a step towards and when we have accountability by just having a quick reflection on the day before okay i utilized my time wisely during this and i got some work done and i cleaned and so on and so forth okay this wasn't so great with maybe three hours of netflix earlier than i wanted and it stopped my sort of personal growth because i got it down the rabbit hole really it is important to just kind of have a little look at attributes that we really like and we know are getting us towards our goals and our purpose and all of that and what what offers and is a constant distraction and how can we remove it and document it so we can reflect on and go okay this time uh, maybe i shouldn't go on social media because it becomes hours of chit chat distraction so on and so forth and i love the home card because that's saying all of this you know any place that we can go can feel like our home we can feel safe we can feel comfortable we just have to have faith in that we are going to acclimate to any circumstance because we don't have to involve ourselves in skirmishes and all the garbage that sometimes takes place out in the world if people are snappy or short-tempered i read this thing this morning that i love so much that people really can only meet us with what is available to them so if we are generous and loving and giving say you're holding a door open and you're waiting there in the rain for somebody because they have groceries and they just sort of waltz through the door and not only do they not thank you but they give you sort of that stink eye that that is nothing at all to do with you it is only the emotions that's available to that person they do not carry the warmth and generosity so instead of like getting angry and thinking it's about you just know it's about them and their emotions and and what they're limited in and you just release it you don't hold that energy you know how sometimes you have an encounter with somebody and it stays with you for hours that's because we we're we're taking it personally and we're thinking it's about us when it's not it's just this person that's self-involved moving through their day um dealing with their own demons and we can make our own happy environments that's why i love you know listening to podcasts while i'm shopping and doing things create my own little world i also look for for this i look for signs when i'm out i look for it on license plates and all over the place and i have faith that each encounter that i'm going to have is going to teach me something you know something wonderful is going to happen you know we're not just guests here on earth we're the gift we're the celebrations we're the magic and 
we don't always feel like that. But if we look for reasons to feel that way, we do start to feel like that. That little smile that that kid has for you in the grocery line, um, that great conversation you have spontaneously while you're waiting in line, you know, at DMV, that song that comes on that is expressing exactly how you feel in that moment. It's all has to do with this, you know, and it really is about getting ourselves in gorgeous flow state, you know, being present. Now is the only moment that we have. So we're not going to ruin by dwelling on the past or worrying about the future. We don't need to compare to anybody else. The only person we should try to outdo is the previous version of ourself yesterday. Hey, how can I build on that? Cultivating gorgeous resilience when things go downhill. Choose to bounce forward instead of staying stuck. Just be like, I'm removing myself from any of this stickiness and just going forward. Because when we see the light and we have the faith, there's always something to smile about. You know, when we choose the good and the silly in situations, we get back to the present and we have gratitude. The more blessings we count, the more blessings that definitely flow. And I love the little rainbow that goes <laughs> into this house. It's so sweet. So my beauties, that is what you're meant to hear today. I hope you all have a great day. Love and light.